Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again, and today I'm reviewing another item from the Star Wars The Clone Wars line, and today I'm reviewing Star Wars The Clone Wars Jedi Turbo Speeder, uh, which is a deluxe size vehicle, or a mid-sized vehicle, either way you want to see it. Uh, retails for $24.99. Uh, it's currently not out at retail stores as far as I know. I bought it online for a little bit more, but um, it should be out in January 2011. Um, so anyways, uh, it's really nice packaging, you know, it's got the blue and black background. Uh, it's also got a nice picture here of the Jedi, Tur Jedi Turbo Speeder, uh, and then it says firing missiles. Um, the packaging also converts to a 3D diorama. Uh, so up here, it's got another illustration. It's basically the same thing on all three sides. Um, then on the back here, shows a picture of the actual vehicle. Um, uh, well, the actual toy, and then the actual vehicle pictures right here. Uh, this vehicle was only seen in the Season 2 final for the Clone Wars. Uh, it showed uh, Plo Koon and Ahsoka using it uh, to go to the underworld of Coruscant. I don't remember the exact name of the episode, but it's from the Season 2 finale. Uh, so anyways, um, it says the Jedi Turbo Speeder plunges into the center of action and takes on battle droids at close range. When modified for the battlefield, this Speeder sizzles with firepower, front and rear missile launchers, and a station for clone troopers with mounted blasters. The fence can fold up to create a blast shield for, for troopers. In the dual cockpit, a Jedi and his co-pilot, a his Jedi and his co-pilot plot a course to fly them straight at the enemy. Uh, so it's just basically a little background on it. Uh, a lot of these features in here are not actual features that we saw in the vehicles. Uh, such as the rocket launchers, um, what else? The rocket launchers, uh, the rear uh, mounted guns, the rocket launchers that are on the fins, um, and even the astromech, was, astromech uh, slot wasn't even part of the vehicle. All this stuff is just features that Hasbro added in for extra play value. Uh, so anyways, um, that's pretty much it for packaging. Also down here, as you can see, here's some more vehicles. Also, the new vehicles are, are supposed to be out in the wave that was before this vehicle, but I still haven't found them yet, which is the Separatist Droid Tri-Fighter and also the Separatist Droid Gunship. i um, really looking forward to that one. Um, so anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for the box part. Uh, so now onto the uh, actual vehicle. Uh, so it's pretty decent size, as you can see here. Let me lower the camera down for you guys. Uh, so... There it is right there. Uh, I like the red on it. It's kind of like a maroon typish red, and it just looks really great on it. Uh, the white on there is kind of like a cream color, so it just blends really well with it. Uh, so cool. And then right here, it's got two of the Jedi uh, symbols on there. I guess Jedi Academy, I guess you can say, uh, symbols. So it's got two of those right there. And it's also got another one on the back of the thin back here. Another one right there. And then there's two more on the same exact places on the back, on the other side, actually. Uh, so that's the two symbols that it has. Uh, so up here in the cockpit, it can fit two figures. Um, then also it's got these little stickers that are already applied. Uh, so that's a nice a little addition there. Uh, even it's got these uh, handlebars here. And the cool thing about it is that the handlebars do rotate. Uh, so that's another nice feature. Uh, it's got a uh, clear plastic windshield which is really cool looking it makes it look a lot more realistic um so yeah it's got that and then it's got the astromech droid slot right there the fit one astromech droid um then up here in the back the two fins which i noted uh they can move from up and down positions um so that's what those do and then back here this whole entire um section back here opens up as you can see and then what it does it has two little peg holes in there well, actually, just pegs, not peg holes. Uh, so these two open up, and they have mounted blasters on there. Um, I think they're both exactly the same, yeah. Uh, so they have a hinge point right here, also another hinge point, and of course the hatches themselves are also hinged. Uh, so it's got two mounted blasters on there, and you can stand two figures in there if you want to. Uh, so that's a cool little feature, even though it wasn't actually a part of the real vehicle, but, you know, still cool that Hasbro's adding stuff in there like that. Uh, but one flaw about these things is that they um, tend to fall off real easily, so I don't really like that. Um, they're really flimsy on the back here, the panels themselves, which sucks big time. Uh, but it's got that. Um, so, also up here on the fins, uh, it's got two holes, as you can see. But those are actually rockets that you can put in there, but I prefer to not have them in there. It looks better without them, so these two rockets go in there. Um, and up here on the top, you can see it's got these buttons. 
that's what you use to launch the missiles. Then up here, well actually down here, uh, the whole entire fins open up, they just slide in and out, and they also have two more rockets in there. As you can see, there's a button here, and also a button there. That's what launches those missiles. Um, so pretty cool. I like that feature. Um, so yeah, it's got that. Uh, down, here, down here on the bottom, there's nothing really much special about it. Uh, just plain old blah. Uh, so anyways, uh, here's the back of it. It's got some blue engines, which is a nice touch. Um, these other engines slash vents here, I think they should have been painted black, not just the cream color. Would have made them look better. Uh, but here's some other engines right here, which are painted blue on both sides. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll show you guys some figures that fit in here. Uh, so these figures do not come with the vehicle. They're sold separately. Uh, so I got R4 P17, which blends in really nicely with the uh, maroon color. Uh, so I kind of re recommend this astromech droid if you want to get this vehicle. Uh, so the droid just fits in there. It's kind of a tight squeeze, but once it gets in there, it um, gets stuck in there, kind of pretty much. Uh, so he just fits right in there. It's pretty cool looking, you know. He can move his head around uh, like they're supposed to. Uh, so he can fit in there. And then also you can fit the two other fi figures in the cockpit if you want to. So I got Ahsoka here. I'm going to put her in the pilot seat. So she fits in there nicely. And that kind of gives you a sense of scale of how big this is. Um, so, yeah. And then, of course, you can fit the two figures back there, but it's kind of hard to get them to stand up in there like that with the mounted blasters and everything. Um, but, you know, it's pretty cool. The uh, other thing about I don't really like is that how the astromech gets stuck in there really easily. And it's really hard to pull them out. I'm kind of, kind of afraid that I'll, like, break the figure when I'm pulling them out or pushing them in there. It's a little tight squeeze, but it, he does fit in there. Uh, all the Clone Wars astromechs should fit in there since they're the same mold. Uh, so, anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for this vehicle. You know, it's really cool. I like it. Uh, it's got a ton of cool uh, little features, but some stuff could have been done better, uh, such as the panels back here being a little bit tighter, uh, the uh, astromech slot being a little bit wider, but not too much. Um, what else? And that's pretty much it. Uh, there's nothing really else to it. You know, it's got a lot of cool play features. It'd be a cool thing for the kids, and also a lot of collectors really want this vehicle, uh, since we hadn't had a, you know, this type of vehicle in a long time. Um, it's mostly been Separatist and Clone Army vehicles, you know, there's nothing really too much about the civilian side of Star Wars being made. Uh, so, you know, it's cool to get something about that in there every once in a while. Uh, something that doesn't really relate to the war too much. Uh, so, anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for this vehicle. I'm going to rate it a 4 out of 5. The only reason I'm giving that is because there's got some small flaws, but overall it's just a really cool vehicle, and I highly recommend it if you see it in the future. Uh, so anyway, so that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys in the next video.